predicting eggs in IVF, does size of follicles matter? So this paper published in Reproductive Medicine Online addresses a crucial challenge in IVF, predicting egg yield based on follicular diameter on the trigger day of stimulation. So what did the researchers do? They recruited 330 women undergoing 429 IVF cycle and recorded the follicle sizes from 11 to 24 millimeter before triggering final oocyte maturation. Their main goal was to find the smallest follicle associated with reliably retrieving at least one egg, a practical metric for both patients and counseling for IVF. This study found that follicles measuring more than 16 millimeter or more on the day of trigger were more likely to yield at least one egg for mature eggs, which is metaphase 2, 18 millimeter was the threshold for retrieval, which basically means that if you had follicles which are more than 18 millimeter, the chance of getting mature eggs were better. The average patient had five eggs retrieved, four of which were mature. This evidence-driven guidelines replaces the guesswork and helps us to plan that wait for a majority of, of follicles to reach at least 18, which is a well-known fact of IVF. This research has limitations. It's a single center study, meaning results must be validated across populations before we adopt a universal outlook. This also does not look into the age factor to a large extent. Why? Because follicle size is not the only factor that determines egg yield age and ovarian reserve also make a significant influence in influencing outcomes. What does age do? Age inter introduces a critical hurdle. As women get older, the ratio of retrieved eggs to the number of follicles known as the egg to follicle ratio often declines. You see a greater phenomenon of follicles being empty and in some cases you see an empty follicle syndrome where none of the follicles produces an egg and the chances of encountering empty follicles and thus missing out on eggs increases with age as egg quality and responsiveness to hormonal stimulation also starts decreasing. For example, women over 40 may have an average retrieval of just 4.5 eggs despite multiple follicles while younger women often show a much higher ratio. Why is this important? It's important because as much as you can look at follicles and predict number of eggs, that can vary and that can vary because of AMH as well as age. And as women head towards the late 30s and early 40s, that ratio is likely to be less.